Hey Ride Staffs folks, um, this is just a quick sort of interim vlog, a bit like the last one, whereby I just want to keep you up to date with what's happening at Ride Staffs HQ and um, slow progress on Ride Staffs 2017, mainly because the weather's been fantastic of late and uh, I keep going out on the mountain bike on Canuck Chase, which if you've been following us on Instagram, um, you'll see some of the regular photos that I've been posting of the um, autumn changes as the as the leaves start to change colour and fall off some of the trees and some of those beautiful changes that are going on on Canuck Chase at the moment. If you can get up there, um, it's a really, really wonderful time. So anyway, um, I digress. What's happening with ride staffs? Well, just a couple of weeks back, we did a ride with the guys at the uh, Limestone Brewery up in Stone. And that was partly to launch a new beer that they've got on the go called Limestone Cowboy and also just an excuse for us to get together with a few people for a bit of an end of season social. We had a really nice time, 200 riders signed up for that ride. Glorious weather, great ride, a few unexpected faces turned up like Liam Hollihan from Team Wiggins and Dean Downing and Steve Lampier and a few of the faces from uh, JLT Condor as well and um, the feedback was so good that everybody said we should do it again and we should do it again pretty soon so that's exactly what we're doing and on sale at the moment is our next ride again starting at limestone brewery this time but using a different route and it's called ride and revival the route for ride and revival takes you out sort of north and west from stone from limestone from the brewery there and goes out towards eckershall and Seiford and back and around that kind of way the um, the format's pretty similar to last time. The distance is about 40 miles. There will be tea and coffee and Ovaltine on this occasion, as well as a bacon, egg and sausage roll before the start or after you've finished, if you so desire. And everyone either gets a half of beer when they finish to drink there and then, or a bottle to take away, as long as you're over 18, of course. If not, then soft drinks are available too. So... We've been on sale for about a week with those and we've sold about 90 something places so far and it's capped at 200. We sold out last time. So uh, if you're up for doing that ride with us on 30th of October, it's the day the clock's changed so you get an extra hour in bed. Be uh, getting yourself online to Ride and Revival at event, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, rideandrevival.eventbrite.co.uk is the URL that'll take you through to the details about the event. I will put it up on the screen and I will also put it in the um, blurb gubbins notes stuff underneath this video on YouTube and Facebook as well so you can click through or put it into your browser or do whatever with it but um, as I say it is capped at 200 we did sell out last time we'd love to see more of you uh, and some fresh faces out there again for this next ride it's something I think we're going to be doing a little bit more of this sort of pop-up cycling club idea I think we'll be doing more of that over the next uh, 12 months um, so yeah check it out uh, any questions get in touch the usual means either in the comments underneath or you can always email ride staffs at leadout.co.uk if you want to get in touch directly um, and that's about it for now so we will update you soon and uh, hopefully see many of you on 30th of October. Cheers.